Okay, so this will be the last topic about normal distribution. And this is applications of the normal distribution. I'm just going to recall uh, the steps in finding the area under any normal curve. Kasi gagamitin natin to in the application of the normal distribution. And we have three steps na kailangan nating sundin para makuha natin yung area under any normal curve. The first step is to draw the normal curve and shade the desired area. From the previous videos ko, matagal na nating kinagawa yung number one. Pero yung number two, hindi pa. Yung number two is we're going to convert x value to z value using the formula z equals x minus the population mean yung mu all over sigma, also called the population standard deviation. And right after that, gagamitin na natin yung table natin or the calculator in finding the corresponding area dun sa ating na-draw na uh, normal curb. Uh, sa shaded portion ng ating normal curb. Okay? So, I'm going to give you three examples for this topic. Okay, so this is my first example about the application of the normal distribution. And example number one is about liters of blood. Ilagay ko na rin yung mga steps na gagawin natin in solving a uh, real-life situation on the topic about normal distribution. Okay, and example number one is about liters of blood. It says an adult has an average of 5.2 liters of blood. Assume the variable is normally distributed and has a standard deviation of 0.3, find the percentage of people who have less than 5.4 liters of blood in their system. Okay, so the first step is we're going to draw a normal curve and we're going to shade the desired area. Okay, what a normal curve. By the way, ang given natin dito ay um, average or mean yung population mean natin 5.2 liters and then what else given din dito ang standard deviation population is standard deviation yun yung sigma 0 0.3 and an x value ito yung x value natin na 5.4 liters alamin natin kung ilang percentage of people na ang kanyang um, blood in their system is five point, uh, less than 5.4 liters. Okay. So, the equivalent uh, normal curve natin. So, ito yung ating mean. Ang mean ay 5.2 liters. Sabihin, yung 5.4 na dito siya. Ito yung x value natin. 5.4 liters. So, makatwid, less than 5.4 liters ang ating uh, hinahanap na percentage ng people. So, ito yung ating shaded area. Okay. Yan. Yan yung percentage ng people na ang kanyang blood in their system is less than 5.4 liters. Kapag uh, 5.4 liters and above. So, ito yun. Okay? So, the next step is we're going to convert this x value to z value. Okay? Yun yung ating second step. Find the z value using the formula z equals x minus the population mean over sigma. Okay? x is 5.4 minus 5.2 all over 0.3. So, gamit ang inyong scientific calculator, this is the difference is 0.2. So, 0.2 divided by 0.3, we have 0.6666 sa marami. So, 2 decimal places lang kailangan natin kasi lang makikita natin sa ating uh, table, yung standard normal distribution. So, we have Z value is 0.67. And the last step is we're going to determine, determine the corresponding area. So, ito yung kanyang uh, normal distribution ng variable na yun. Ang variable natin, yun yung liters of blood. Okay? The equivalent standard normal distribution curve is this one. Okay? So, equivalent ganito. 
So, ang mean dito, zero. Okay? So, 0.67. So, naan dito. 0.67. Ito yung Z. Okay? So, kung kukunin natin area, ganun pa rin. Ito yung equivalent standard normal distribution. Kinonvert natin siya. Using the formula. Okay? So, sa mga tweed, ang area na yon gamit yung table natin, is equivalent to, kung yung table ko, 0.67 0.67 So, titignan natin sa Z Area natin is Equivalent area 0.67 0.67 That is 0.7486 So, this is equivalent to the area of 0 0.7 0.7486 Okay 86. Or that is 74.86%. Sino yun? Ibig sabihin yan, 74.86% of adults have less than 5.4 liters of blood in their system. Seventy four point eighty six percent ng adults, yun yung population natin, na ang kanilang blood ay less than five point four liters sa kanilang system. Okay, so that is solution or the solution to example number one. Thank you.